Hello well, folks, I'm in Edinburgh today. Came in to get my season ticket for the Hearts. Wandered along to Princess Street Gardens. Realised it was Armed Forces Day. So looking to my left there. There's a few bands playing, a few pipe bands. A Canadian band was on a wee while ago there. I think there's obviously been a march through the through along Princess Street. I missed that. But here we are in the memorial to the Royal Scots. There you go, the, mo the monument to the Royal Scots. The first the Royal Regiment of Foot. Never been along here actually. Just take you around it. Various stonemasons have been at work. It's all the, the places I've been in battle. Places I've served. Nice wee flower arrangements. There you go, one at the top there, 1860. You're doing the bottom of the Gulf, 1921. There's Egypt. Just take you around it. There you go, it is not for glory nor riches. Neither is it for honour. That we fight. But it's for the sake of liberty alone. There's a declaration there, both 1320 folks, which no man can lose. But at the cost of his life. There we go, given that are both by the barons, the tenants and the whole community of the Kingdom of Scotland in the year 1320. It takes us right round, we'll go back round again a wee bit slower. Don't know if you can read that. This monument was erected under the bequest of Campbell Smith. Edinburgh, a pioneer of the Royal Scots Club and a great friend of the regiment. It was unveiled by the Princess Royal on the 26th of July in the first year of the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. Underneath that. The 28th of March 2006, 373 years to the day since King Charles I signed the warrant to raise the regiment. Royal Scots, the Royal Regiment merged with the other surviving Scottish infantry regiments to form the Royal Regiment of Scotland. Their unbroken history and service to sovereign and country lives on in the 1st Battalion of the new regiment. There you go. Some more places have been. There's Germany, Berlin, Korea, Egypt, Cyprus, Suez, Libya, Radfan, Aden, Northern Ireland, Falkland Islands, the Gulf, Bosnia, Iraq. Another inscription here. 1918 to 1965, Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, Colonel Chief, Royal Scots, Royal Regiment, for 47 years. The stone was unveiled by Her Majesty the Queen on 1st of July 1968. So there you go, folks, a wee bit of history there. Just show you right around it. Very well maintained, as you'd expect. Just a pity I missed the parade, but can't be on the spot all the time. Try and keep taking a couple of videos for you. Need some photographs. There's another one. Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, Colonel Chief, 1983 to 2006, unveiled the final additions to this monument on 9th May 2007. So there you go. Just finalised just over six years ago. Very well kept. Show you some, show you some of the, the masonry again. Some of the stonework. There you got pipers, you got snipers, you got mortars. We half track up the top there. Very well crafted. Do the bears get on? The Navy lads, ship up the top there, the senior service, the oldest of the armed forces, the Navy. I'm right back now, I can just picture a red coat. 
thoughts on that chap. Something to wear a bit, because it's facing the, facing the prevailing wind. Old sandstone. Wind will take its toll on that. There you go, this is back to the stand again. Just like to show you the wee, the wee house, Princess Street Gardens, it's like straight out of the Hansel and Grell. You see this wee, you see this wee house. Or a wee cottage. There you go. Serenity. Tranquility. Princess Street Gardens, I tell you. The Wesley boys could be here and cut that hedge though. Let's be honest, it's been a good wee trim. They could charm that boy's door. So there you go. Wee bonus from Princess Ray Gardens for you. Scots Scottish Regiment Memorial. And a fine memorial it is too. Sure you'll agree with that. So, till the next video.